everyone. I'm going to do a short video on how to install. Oh, Gigi wants to say hi. Hi, Gigi. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to show a vid quick video on how to install the Home Lake for your Model Y. Because they used to come with their cars in the past, but now they don't anymore. Um, in order to install it, if you buy a module from eBay, not anywhere else, you don't need to see it that close. Um, if you buy it on eBay, most of them don't come with um, the nut that you need and the number you need. Hopefully, I got this. Get this right. Is um, an M6 with 25 millimeter length. So that's what you're gonna need to nut track this. Let's just get to it. I've already unscrewed most of it because I don't want to do that on video. But one important thing is you have to make sure you disconnect the exit light for the trunk. Um, I think it just comes out. But finagle it out. It's not that difficult. But all right, so that comes out. So there are two screws here and two here. But first, you got to make sure you take off. head screwdriver will work so you just gotta get right behind it like that pop it up like that and you got yourself a clip clip goes here and now for the removal So this is the cable you're looking for. It's attached to this big um, spool. So this guy here is the cable we need. And it goes through here. Get closer. And hopefully we don't lose it. Right. Comes through here and connects to the module right here. Module here, this is like probably a five minute fix if you're pretty good. Pop this red thing out, which should release. Should release. Man, I'm struggling with all of these things today. If you know what you're doing, it's five minutes. If you don't, you're gonna stuck here pushing on a clip to release. Oh my goodness. It seems like this part wasn't letting go. It's, it wasn't my fault. Probably my fault, so. <clears throat> so now that that's done, let's go ahead and connect it first. I don't know why these C's on. So this comes in like so. Well, you gotta make sure there's a little thing that lines up in there. I don't know if you can see it. No. But make sure it lines up. All right, clips in. Push the piece, if it'll let you. And now we're good. Okay, this one's tricky. Oh, she's at the front. Okay. All right. Let's just screw that in first to make sure it's all good. I'm guessing it goes in this way because the wire's coming in from this one. Tesla likes to be smart. Hey. Stick. 
Okay, for the lazy ones out there. Just screw that in. Alright. And I think it's supposed to just sit sideways like this. But we'll find out. I don't think it matters as much. Oh man. Maybe I need a washer. So make sure make sure you have a washer for this so you don't burn the plastic like I kinda did a little bit right there. Good. Maybe the cable is a little small. Alright, it seems pretty good there. So with that, you're set. Gigi, you spilled all the bubbles. Oh, look, now it's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Mama, Okay, so make sure you put these guys in first so they kind of clip into the bottom. That lines it up and then it's just clip, clip, clip. And since this guy is still up, and that's done. Alright, now we screwed things back to where they used to be. First the clip. Get yourself your clip. And then it goes right back where it came from. I remember. Gigi. Oh. Spell it again. Alright, so clip goes in. Snap in place. It needs to go so there's no rattling anymore. Introduce the module yeah. to the car, and the way to do it is to go into service. <coughs> Hold. Oh, you got an update. And then when we let go, service should pop up. And then we type in. I think it's safe to tell everyone what this is now. Type in service. You enable. What? All right. Now we go. Windows oh. alignment. Home link. So. You go to the battery, home link, and then home link is not in enabled, but there's a button here that says home link retrofit. So you tap on home link retrofit, it tells you how you're supposed to do things. And it says hold the right turn signal in the active position and press down on the brake for eight seconds. So brake and turn and it counts down. And once that finishes, you'll have your portal key. And you've got 89 minutes to get things done. So let's start our home link retrofit. Vehicle screen will reboot after updating. So press run. And then we just wait. And then when it comes back, our home link should now be active or should be now enabled so we go into low voltage home link home link version v out 2 so we are set home link is now set up so another thing we can try since home link isn't showing up is to power cycle the car and for this you wait about one minute 
um, and then press the brake to turn the car back on. So you don't do anything at all to wake the car up. Wait, turn back up. Oh. What woke it up? Oh, I guess Gigi moving around to wake it up. No, no goggles. Yeah. Right. Oh. Oh. Look at that. Just a simple power cycle brought it back. So there is home link. In our home, we call it nest. Well, I call it nest. This is her first car, so she doesn't get to choose. And it's just a standard mode. So we're already parked in front of a car. So before we begin, it's a, this is how you set up home link now. So if you already have home link set up in your car, this is where you begin. So before we begin, here's what you'll need. You need a garage key. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Miss Allison here go stand in front of the car and press and hold it, but in just a second. So let's go ahead and start the process. We're already parked in front of the car. So um, go press your button. Yes. That's fine, yeah. Hold it. All right, we're good. Good. All right. She wants to see the process, so I'm waiting for her. All right, so tap continue. And then train the receiver. So now I need you to go and press the learn button on, on the garage door. There's a baby in the car with me, so I can't leave as easily. But she's gonna go press the learn button. Hopefully she, it has a marker on it, so she should find it easily. And then, is it blinking? Oh, okay. And then we hit continue, which will train the car. And training is complete. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah, training complete. And then we save it. So now, if I press this button, our garage now is closing on its own. And that's it. Home link is installed. So let's go ahead and set some parameters for this. Auto fold mirrors. Um, auto open on arrival. 70 feet, that's fine. We can even lower this to 50. I think 70 is good. Auto close does not work that well so you turn it on but it works here and then so don't count it all the time always make sure that the garage is closing before you leave your location and also make sure to hit put at the time so it lets you know when it's opening the garage and that's it no you don't need to that's for programming it yeah it's confusing if you need to reprogram your garage or program a new garage. So and that's I it. just press this? No, you press the activate button next to it. Oh, what's the point of pressing that? If you have multiple garages. Uh, addresses. Oh, and that's it. Your garage is installed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more. I'm going to do more videos on this. This is the model Y4680 batteries so i'm a gonna do some efficiency tests goes. with it um she intentionally talks while i'm talking if you haven't noticed yet um and some other stuff so yeah subscribe and like for more videos you got anything to say thank you i don't know if thanks it's thanks for like setting it up thumbs up oh, okay that's it bye